Welcome back. This micro lecture is on distinguishing between reaction forces and forces that are just the same size but not necessarily a reaction force. As always you need three or more bullet points worth of notes, a so one to two sentence summary, and your follow-up questions on Google Forms. Okay, so let's do a little quick review here. If the action force is that Earth pulls down on the apple, then what is the reaction force? Think about it to yourself. Alright, hopefully you realize that the reaction force is that the apple pulls up on Earth. Now it might seem weird that uh, apples would be pulling up on the Earth simply because Earth is pulling down on them, but if we think back to last time, the reason why we don't notice this is often because that the Earth has such a large mass that it's not going to really be affected. We also have the fact that while this apple may be pulling down um, or be pulling up on Earth this way, one on the other side of the world might be doing the opposite direction, etc. But this brings me to a point of identifying action and reaction forces. Sometimes they're on things that you don't really realize are happening or kind of hidden forces in this way. Uh, in this case, the reaction force to gravity um, pulling down on this apple um, via the Earth is the apple pulling up on Earth via gravity as well. Which brings me to a important distinction. So let's imagine this apple again, but now it's being held in somebody's hand. The action force is that Earth pulls down on the apple, and the reaction force in this case is that the apple pulls up on Earth. Notice that there's no mention of the hand yet. This is one action-reaction pair, and it's what determines the weight of the apple. Now, since the apple has a weight, and irrespective of Earth, so just kind of because the apple happens to be pushing down on the hand, uh, the person's hand also pushes up on the apple. And so this is the other reaction force. So notice that the force of the apple pushing down on the hand is actually the same size as, let's say, the force of Earth pulling down on the apple. That's because the force of the apple down on the hand is because of the apple's weight. But the reaction force is not has nothing to do with Earth in this case. It is only between the apple and the hand. Or in this case, over here, it's only between the apple and Earth. So that brings me to the main point, which is that Earth pulling down on the apple is not a reaction force to the person pushing up on the apple. Although they are very much linked and they're the same size because weight plays a role in both of them, or weight is what kind of causes the apple to push down on the person's hand, uh, they're not necessarily the same thing. Uh, and they're definitely not an action-reaction pair in this case. That's it for this one. Three or more bullet points worth of notes, so one to two sentence summary, and please do your follow-up questions on Google Forms.